Hi there, this is Craig Beck from Law of Attraction University, subattraction.com. And today I want to talk about my 421 journal. I get a lot of emails from people saying, can you explain more about the 421 journal? And it's taken me a while to get around to recording this video, so I'm glad I'm doing it now. It's probably going to be a little bit longer than my usual videos, I, I think. I don't know at this point, but um, the reason for that would be that this is the most significant thing that I've ever discovered. It is the most powerful law of attraction tool anywhere. This, this is, it's just mind blowing. And even though I do it every day and I have done for years, I'm still amazed at how powerful this is. In fact, yesterday afternoon, I went running downstairs with my journal in my hand to speak to Daniela, my partner, and I just said, you're not going to believe it. I only wrote this four hours ago and it's already happened. It still amazes me. I, I, it, I'm still breathtaking by how powerful this is. And I spent a lot of time thinking about why it is called the 421 journal, because everyone tries the law of attraction. You know, people buy the book, The Secret, which tells you, you know, if you want to be rich, then act like a rich person. See yourself as a rich person. And for most people, it doesn't work. You know, they do, they do what it says and nothing happens. Or if anything, things get worse. And they think, well, like, law of attraction, absolute nonsense. And look, I, I'm not a airy fairy sort of new age mumbo jumbo sort of guy. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm from the northeast of England. I come from a working class background. I, you know, I'm a prove it sort of guy. I'm a very critical thinker. And so if this didn't work, I would not be talking about it. But it blows me away with how well it works. And I think, you know, one of the problems with the law of attraction is people get too focused on their ego. They get too focused on what's in it for me. And the universe doesn't work like that. You know, it's, it can't be all flow in one direction. The universe has to be a circular flow. You know, money that flows into your life must flow out again. Otherwise, you just become a stagnant pond. You don't become a river of abundance. You just become a dam. And what happens is when, when you act like this, when you just keep asking and asking and asking and asking, is you get to the point where the universe goes, you know what? When stuff gets to you, it stops. So you're not getting any more because we don't want it to stop. So the 421 journal is constructed in a way that it forces you to keep the balance of things right. And the 421 stands for this, four. The first thing you do in your diary is you write down four things that you are grateful for right now. Not things you want, not things you will be grateful for if they arrive, four things that you are grateful for right now in this moment. Then you write down two people who need love, two people who are having a tough time. Maybe they're ill, maybe they have financial problems of their own and they need love. And the last thing you get, you get one thing for you. Four acts of gratitude, two acts of love, one wish. And when you do it in this order, it keeps you in balance. It stops you become driven by your ego. You know, it forces you, first of all, to think about what's amazing. Secondly, to think about how you can help other people. And finally, you get to say, look, this is what I want to happen. Now, sitting down to write your 421 journal is a big deal. It can't be rushed. You can't do it over breakfast with the kids screaming. You can't do it in your coffee break at work. You need to make this a significant moment in your day. You need to be in the right state of mind. You need to be physically in the right position and you need to appreciate the significance of what you're doing. And so what I, what I do every day is I get up early before everyone else. I'm up about 5.30 in the morning and I make myself a coffee I feed the dogs, otherwise they will just drive me crazy. <laughs> and then I come and I sit in my office with a cup of coffee. And I just sit back in my chair and I breathe. And I just sit quietly. And I breathe deeply. 
and I'm just aware of all the sounds around me and how I feel. And I just let my thinking state slow down. And I just breathe and relax. And I keep doing this until I feel I'm ready, until I feel I'm centered and I'm in a good place. And at this point, I take out my journal and I take out the special pen that I have to write in my journal and I start, I start work. Now, why do I have a special pen just to write in my journal? Again, you don't have to do this. Can you do a 421 journal on the back of a till receipt? Yes, of course you can. There are no rules about this. That, that would be ridiculous, you know. You know, to say, oh, well, it, it didn't work because you used a cheap biro is ridiculous. I use an expensive, beautiful pen and an expensive, beautiful notebook because it helps me make the moment more significant. It makes the moment more beautiful. It's something special. You know, it's everything about this moment for me feels special. The state of mind, the way the paper feels in my hand, the way the pen feels in my hand. So let me show you my 421 journal. First of all, um, I use a very nice fountain pen. Um, and I, I keep it in a box. I don't take it anywhere. It stays on my desk. And I use a beautiful fountain pen to write in my 421 journal. Uh, and this is my current because I've had many of them now. This is my, my current uh, 421 journal. And it's wrapped up in leather string. It's a handmade notebook from Italy. And it's a very beautiful book. And on the front page here, I write, Dear Cosmos, I ask that all these things are better, come in wonderful ways, and for the benefit of all. Uh, and the reason I start with that, and I always say that before I start writing, is that the universe won't grant you anything that is going to cause harm to other people. And also, what I want to say, what I want is, I want what I'm asking for or better. Yeah, so I don't want to limit myself to the restrictions of my own imagination. If the universe thinks it can do better than what I'm asking for, that's what I want. So I start with that. Dear Cosmos, I ask that you deliver all these things for the benefit of all in wonderful ways. And then at the top of the page, I write down the date. Then I write four things that I'm thankful for. So if I open my 421 journal to yesterday, uh, so I wrote the date and I wrote down, um, I wrote down thanks for the wonderful, beautiful, loving relationship I have with Daniela. Uh, I wrote down thanks for my success in business. I wrote down for my health and wellness. Uh, thank you for my wonderful, peaceful life. And then uh, on the two people that I sent love to, my, my son and my daughter are fighting like crazy at the moment, just arguing all the time. So I just took the opportunity to send love to both of them for my two people uh, so that they uh, may get on better together uh, and love each other a bit better. Uh, and the final thing, my wish from yesterday is going to sound ridiculous. You're going to think that's the worst wish I've ever heard in my life, Craig. But let me explain before I tell you it, let me explain why. It doesn't have to be a big grand wish. It doesn't have to be a million pounds. It doesn't have to be a million dollars. It doesn't have to be a sports car or a big vacation because those big things may well come but you won't get any control over when they come. Now, if you go and say, I want a million dollars, you may well get a million dollars, but maybe a lot of things have to be moved around to get you to that place. Maybe it's going to take a year. Maybe it's going to take a decade. Maybe it's going to take 30 years. You don't get to control when, because it will arrive when it's best for you. And the universe knows this. You don't need to worry about this. The universe knows everything that is right for you in this moment. You don't need to worry. So it doesn't have to be a big, huge wish. It can be something tiny, you know? And I had an email last week from someone said, ah, help, help, I can't think of the one thing to do at the end. Then wish for a great day. Then wish for an amazing lunch. Then wish for anything, just doesn't matter. Just something. Thank you for an amazing day. Thank you for the surprising gesture that happens to me today that just blows me away. It could be anything. Now, I'll tell you what it is. My wish for yesterday, I have one website that's um, it's just performing so poorly. Uh, you know, in the search engine rankings, no matter what I do, no matter how hard I work, it just doesn't move. It's stuck. 
and it drives me crazy because I, I get a bit, you know, obsessed with things like that. And uh, I've been working on it for six months now, really hard, trying to get this website to perform and it just won't move. And uh, so yesterday, uh, my, uh, my wish in here was that this website would uh, dramatically and suddenly improve. And this is what happened yesterday. Four hours after I wrote it in the journal, my search engine ranking for this website was the best it has ever been. I mean, off the scale, top page of Google, just crazy. It, it's so insanely good that I, ha I just sat there going, I don't, I don't believe it. For six months I've been working on this website and it wouldn't move. Four hours after I write it in the journal, it flies up the Google ranking. Don't tell Google about this. They might change something. <laughs> they might put in a law of attraction filter or something. But um, so, I mean, it was a really silly thing to write down. It was nothing, wasn't it? You know, it's hardly asking for world peace. It was just one thing that was top of my mind that I wanted to fix. And within four hours, it was fixed. Uh, I went in this morning and checked and the, the website is still performing like crazy. So I, I really wish I had better words to describe to you how powerful this process is. Uh, and I really wouldn't be making this video unless I believed in it 100%. This has the power to change your life in a beautiful and profoundly amazing way. If you approach it in the right way, if you make it a significant moment in your day, if you keep your balance right, this is not about you getting what you want. Four acts of gratitude, two acts of love and one request of what you want. Now, the way you do it is when you write things in your journal, you have to know in your heart and soul that as soon as you write them, they've happened. This is what makes the magic happen. You don't write something down and then wait to see if it happens. You write it down and you should feel a sense of excitement. Wow, this is, this is going to happen as you write it down. Sometimes when I write in this, I get a little bit scared because it feels so powerful. As I'm writing the words down, I, I, I get this kind of trembling sensation. I feel like, wow, this is going to happen. If you have that mindset, it will happen as long as it doesn't cause harm to anyone else. That's only one of the few things that will prevent what you've asked for happening. If what you're asking for causes suffering to someone else, then it won't happen. Um, so when you write it down, you should have the mindset that it's like sending an email. When you click send, it's gone. Nothing you can do about it. Doesn't matter how many times you click cancel. If you rush around and unplug the computer, email's gone. And you'll know this if you've accidentally sent the wrong email to somebody. Have you ever done that? Cancel, cancel. Oh, God, it's gone. This is what your 41 journal is like. When you write it, it's happened. It's happened already. All you're waiting for now is time to catch up. It is an amazing thing. And it's only a very small part of the course at Law of Attraction University at subattraction.com. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions or comments, and please, if you try this, I want to hear how it worked for you. Please let me know. I'd love to hear your stories. You can get in touch with me via the website at subattraction.com or via the main website at www.craigbeck.com. Don't forget to subscribe to this video and I will see you very soon for the next edition. Thank you.